Right now, all the Labrum 5s use a 2000 mAh battery. That's about 42% smaller than what's planned to ship with our production batch, Evergreen. The current batteries last for about 4 hours with the screen off. Without software improvements, we can expect that to increase to around 7 hours. But because the software is improving, it should last longer than what we see today. With testing done for kernel version 5.6, we can see where we stand at the moment. Screen off performance is just about the same as what we see in 5.3, but we do get an extra 23 minutes of in-use time. With this reduction in power draw, we can expect about an extra 40 minutes of screen on time with these larger batteries. The way heat is dissipated is a big factor. All batches up until Dogwood had the CPU on the same side as the battery. The battery temperature sensor is too close to the heat put off by the CPU. This causes the battery to stop charging at high load even if it's safe to keep charging. Power draw on this chestnut can be lowered by applying a few software tweaks. For example, the Wi-Fi can be put into a power saving mode, but at the cost of Wi-Fi performance. The internal USB hub can be powered down to save even more energy. The downside is that you lose access to the modem and SD card reader. As a baseline, we can expect about 4 hours and 26 minutes of screen on time, with the Wi-Fi on and cellular modem off. Turning on Wi-Fi power saving mode gives us a few extra minutes of runtime. When flipping the modem on, the expected battery life goes down about 25 minutes with the larger battery. With the Wi-Fi in power saving mode, the modem off, plus the USB hub powered down, we can see a pretty good jump in battery life. It's capable of running nearly 11 hours with the screen off and the larger batteries in place. To put it in a super power saving mode, you can flip off the Wi-Fi, which will in turn allow the phone to be powered for 13 plus hours. For any phone, keeping the modem on is crucial. Fortunately, it is possible to have the modem powered even with the USB hub off. The modem still sends interrupts to notify when calls come in. This means a software solution to wake up the USB hub should still be possible. In this state, with the USB hub off, Wi-Fi off, and the modem powered, we still see a really good uptime. These numbers are more in line with what we hope to see when the USB hub can be made to behave in software. Because the Libra 5 has easily accessible hardware kill switches, learning to turn them off when you're done and only back on again when you need it bolsters not only battery life, but security. In the future, we should see things like USB and IIO runtime suspend, a true suspended DRAM, and improved video decoding, all of which will impact overall battery life. Pre-order your Librem 5 at puri.sm.